Hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick video here on the benefits of mini hearths. Now, these two colonies were both in test tubes till I moved them over here to the mini hearths. When they were in test tubes, I had about four workers each and a handful of brood. Not much. This is about a month ago I moved them into this. At the beginning, about a month and a half. Somewhere around the beginning of September, I moved them into here. And as you can see, just going like gangbusters. Both of them. It's a little harder to see here. They like, like I said, they like to gum it up a little bit. But brood, seeds, and new workers. This is why I highly recommend mini hearts for these colonies, even just single queens. You don't need workers, just queens for this species to put into mini hearts. Some people may think it's too big for them, but it is not. They love it, and they will go good in it. They will do much better in these than they will in test tubes. But as you can see, these colonies are going crazy. They got workers foraging. Plenty of new brood. Brood is getting larger. Every generation is getting bigger than the one previous to it. A little bit at first, but you will notice bigger differences by the third or fourth batch of workers. But look at how well they are doing in these. This isn't. These are the older style mini hearts too. These aren't the uh, XLs. These are the old school. These are three, four years old. Actually, two or three, I think it is. I'm not sure how old these are, but they're definitely over two years old. But as you can see, doing extremely well. New worker right there about to enclose. You can see the callow workers that are there. Same with this one. You got callow workers, larva, queens are doing good. See that worker right there? He's bigger than the rest. Neither one of these are boosted. Come on, focus in there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm having issues focusing because of the stuff they put on there. Come on. I know. There we go. As you can see, there are different size workers in there. See that big one right there next to the queen? That's bigger than the previous workers. As you can see, they will get bigger. And these aren't ready for diapause yet. I'm going to show you this. I got... This was a boosted colony. I'm moving over to a fortress. Just started it, so... And there's another row of test tube ones. Now many hearts. All doing just as exceedingly well. Now just to give you a glance. See? Another test tube. And once they get in a mini heart, they just jump with the brood production. And you can already see the new callow workers are bigger than the workers previous. See that? There's like three generations of workers in there. Do another one at random. Sorry, it's a little harder. They built some gunk up there. They like to do that. But they're all doing good. I showed you the two best, but all the rest are doing exceptionally well. See, brand new batch of eggs. This is one of the very last ones I transferred over into a mini hearth. See, they like to gum up the sides. But these are all transfers, and as you can see, they're all doing very well. And these two right here are my best, from test tubes to this. Thanks for watching.